Hey, it's Matt Picardle. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to make this video to give you an update on why I haven't been making structural engineering videos lately and when I'm going to return to, to making them. In the past couple months, a couple of things have been uh, taking up my time and I just needed to focus on those things uh, rather than, than making videos. The first thing is I'm studying for the SE exam. It's the structural engineering license exam for my SE license in, in California. In the US, we have the we have a couple stages for licensure, the EIT, the engineering and training. And then once you've been working in the industry, you get your professional engineering license, your PE. That's where you, when you can stamp drawings. And then in size in a couple states, mostly the seismic states, uh, it's recommended that you get your SE license, your structural engineering license. And so that's what I'm studying for. And it's a, it's a brutal exam. I think the pass rate's around, I don't know, 30, around 30 to maybe 40%. But it's a 16 hour test split up into two parts. And on average, all the things that I've been hearing, it probably takes an average of at least 300 hours of studying to to be considered a good effort on taking that exam. So knowing how little time I've had, I've just been struggling to keep up with at least my schedule that I've set for myself. And I'm basically just gonna split it up into, into two parts, take the first part in April. So I'm studying a lot right now. And the, the, the second part in October but I've also committed to some other things in the past couple months, uh, such as uh, I got invited to be a keynote uh, presenter at the Structural Engineering Association of Southern California for one of their events. They had a student career fair, uh, which was really cool because that was uh, one of my, one of the ways that I got into the structural engineering industry. I went to their that event and that's how I got my one of my first steps into the basically into the industry. So if it wasn't for that event, I probably wouldn't have had that opportunity to get my internship. So it was a really cool opportunity to give back, but it did take up a lot of time, but it turned out great. I took some video of it, so I might post it up someday. And another thing that I've been, actually I've been consistent on the Structural Engineering Channel podcast with Anthony and Alexis, our new co-host. Uh, we've been getting some episodes out um, every couple weeks. So that's on a consistent basis. I'll put the link below the Structural Engineering Channel podcast. And this year I'm also the program's co-chair for the ASCE OC Younger Members Group and basically helping plan programs and events for uh, for that organization. So you can see that I've pretty, I noticed that I've overloaded myself. And so something needed to give and YouTube just needed to take a step back until I got past my exams. So I think it's around mid-April is when I'll take the SC exam and then start cranking out more videos again. I have a lot of, of them lined up in terms of content that I want to produce and set out. So I should be able to crank them out uh, consistently since I got them set up. I just need to, <laughs> I just need to do them. Oh, I'm also going to be attending the ASCE SEI Structures Congress uh, in April, early April. So if you're going there, definitely uh, you know go find me on LinkedIn, send me a message, uh, let me know that you're there, and uh, definitely try to to meet you in person. I also just recently started Instagram since uh, it's a lot easier to put content and just take some pictures and just post it online. Uh, YouTube's great, but it does take me a while to 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 film, to edit, to to make outlines of the videos. So for now where I'm really busy, it's a lot easier to just uh, take some pictures of some of the job sites I'm doing and some of the things that I'm doing at work in really a small increments. I'm still new to Instagram, I'm still noob, so I'm still figuring that out, but I'll put that in the link somewhere below or above, but I'll figure that out. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, I, I do have more videos coming out. If you have video recommendations, definitely send me a DM or, or send me an email. I, I, oh, I read each and every one of those. I know I don't have time to respond to, to, to all of them, but I do make an effort and I do read them. So if you have any suggestions, just let me know. Uh, you can find my email or just send me a DM, like I said, and I'll see you next time.